Hi guys, it's Tracy from Australia and I have another journal share. This one um, uses a Craftex cover which I've done a faux leather finish on. The front features a mixed media piece I did some time ago. Um, there are lots of gears, a key with wings, uh, a pocket watch on a chain and other bits and pieces. Lots of inking to give patina. The closure is uh, two very strong little magnets, one attached to a leather strap and the other to a little gear. So I've used several different um, digital designers from Etsy in this journal and I'll endeavour to point those out as we go along. I used an extra piece of craft text to reinforce the spine. So this first paper is from Mind Barity and is her paper is called Vintage Steampunk. The pockets are created from commercial Kaiser Craft paper. The image of the woman is from Industrial Age Stamps on Etsy. That's from uh, Ephemeris Vintage Garden and this is a vintage uh, postcard. This is actually the starting point for my journal. Um, it features a balloonist from the 1800s called Sophie Blanchard and I decided that my journal would be about female aviators otherwise known as aviatrix. Steampunk definition, um, that's a stamp that I have and a little set of goggles. The pocket is a Kaiser Craft piece and then um, I've got two postcards. That's actually an ornithopter which are these very cool uh, flying machines that use wings. The pocket, the little card is from Graphics Fairy and that's another piece from Ephemeris Vintage Garden. So as you can see everything's been tea dyed including the baking paper. And that's um, a page from a book about aviation and you can see some more ornithopters and early planes. The pocket has been decorated with die cuts. That's a piece from Ephemera's Vintage Garden. And just recently I purchased the ticket bundle from Victoria Designs and you all know that I'm a ticket junkie so I'm in heaven and there are various little tickets from Victoria Designs throughout the journal. Some gorgeous washi tape. Um, the book page is from um, a book that I have about uh, aviation engineering. It's really cool. That's another one of the um, Mind Barity pages but I've added an image from uh, industrial age stamps and then created a little pocket with a uh, graphics 45 stamp and put two little envelopes in there and of course they have a little bit of paper. That top image is from Steampunk Chronicles. That's a Victoria Designs apothecary label and this is a piece from uh, Graphics Fairy. I thought um, an aviatrix would need money and air sickness pills little stamp that says time flies in Latin. More stamping. A beautiful uh, Edwardian photo that I've mounted onto cardstock. Uh, Kaiser Craft papers to create the pockets and that is also a Kaiser Craft piece. This page flips out and I've um, fussy cut these glasses from a Kaiser Craft paper and then um, mounted them onto a paper clip. The two little pieces of ephemera that clip on, the top one is from Graphics Fairy and the um, larger piece is from Shinami Rose. Some clock washi down the side there and in the pocket I've got um, a piece from Dreams Etc. Steampunk Chronicles. I just love that card. And this is um, a map from Graphics Fairy that I've printed onto vellum. I just love the sound. So um, I used a very historic map of Europe and I thought an aviatrix definitely would uh, require maps and a pocket to hold the maps. So again, um, a page from the aeronautical engineering manual, 
Kaiser Craft paper, which I've used uh, fussy cut and created a little pocket. That's a piece from Victoria Designs. Um, it's one of their inventory labels, and that is again one of the large apothecary labels. This is a uh, industrial age stamp that I've um, fussy cut and then made a little notebook out of. Little pocket here, which contains uh, another piece from Graphics Fairy, and this is a very cool postcard from a French illustrator called Albert Rubina and he did these very futuristic steampunky illustrations. They are very cool. Look him up. Albert Rubina. Again uh, some of the Victoria Designs apothecary labels. They have very cool little sayings and I chose ones that um, fitted with my aviation theme. So um, a card that I've created with an emboss, a tag that I've created with uh, an embossing folder. I've um, used tea dyed paper on the back and done a little bit of stamping. Some fitness hints there for my aviatrix. Very gorgeous washi tape. This pocket contains um, another ticket from Victoria Designs. Oh, I just love them. And this is a very cool postcard uh, from Germany and features a lady on ice skates with a blimp on her head. Baking paper. Gorgeous, gorgeous photo of um, a British aviator called Amy Johnson. That's a uh, Tim Holtz stamp and that is one of the Victoria Designs inventory cards because Amy's wearing goggles and so we needed an inventory card about goggles. Um, some gears on my middle strings, um, the steam, vintage steampunk page by Mind Barity, a bit of stamping, another of the uh, book pages, gorgeous stamp of a pocket watch, fits with my uh, Time travel theme. The pocket is created from one of the uh, inventory cards from Victoria Designs. So I've used a little Blanche stamp on the front of this little booklet. Just some extra journaling space. And then I've uh, done another one of uh, the maps from Graphics Fairy. How cool is that paper? I just love the sound of it. And the maps come out really clear. You can see them, the detail, really easily. Just love it. That pocket um, is made from another piece of Kaiser Craft paper from a series called Miss Empire. And this is a Swedish aviatrix called Elsa Anderson. I loved her plane. It just looks so fragile. It's got bicycle wheels. I can't believe they went up in those things. So that pocket is actually made from um, a Dreams Etc. piece. And that's again um, another ticket from the Victoria Designs ticket bundle. This flips out. The Time Flies card, as I've said, from Graphics. Uh, from vintage ephemeris vintage garden I'm oh, sorry I'm getting uh, tongue-tied I've done this a couple of times now um, another vintage card of a balloon some stamping Kaiser craft paper there to create the pockets that's the piece from Victoria designs and then ephemeris vintage garden a doily that I've made in a little timepiece and in here we have uh, a card from Steampunk Chronicles and then a piece from Graphics Fairy. I thought if an, uh, an Steampunk aviatrix was moving through time she'd need hints about those styles um, of the various periods that she found herself in. Stamp I love that one. It's a quote from Henry Thoreau. Graphics 
45 um, used to make the pocket there and then um, a little piece with the gear on it to make a list. That's the other side of the uh, book page about aviation, the history of aviation stamp. And this is my final pocket. I've decorated that with gear die cuts. That's an ephemeris garden piece. So there's two pockets there. This is a Shutterstock image, gorgeous steampunk lady, and um, a piece from the graphics fairy. So that's my little steampunk aviatrix journal. I hope you've enjoyed looking at it. And um, please leave a comment. I love to hear uh, from from people. Okay, thank you for watching.